help so far with our lectures and preparing for our end of sem or midterm whatever examination we have to take. So there's our lecture videos um, to help us understand whatever we did in person and, and online for those who couldn't have enough information. So first we are looking at descriptive statistics. What does this tell us? It's either we are looking at mass for finance or quantitative analysis, they are the same thing. What we talked about here is that we want, we have data and want to give some information from the data. Not just any information, but meaningful information. I don't know, I love this word. Meaningful information. Information worth it from whomever the data comes from. And what are the measures we use to describe our data? There are some tactical measures used for describing data. You can look at the mean, you can look at the mode, the median, you can look at the maximum, the minimum, the count, the sum, what else, the variance, the standard deviation, STD for short. We can look at the skewness of the data. We can also look at the ketosis of the data, the heap or the peak of the data. Which other information? There are numerous of information to describe the data. But the interesting thing here is not just the number, not just the number we obtain, but then how to comment on the numerics. Comment means that whatever message we want to give to the numerics is important because you can have the numerics and then misinterpret the numerics and then you're going to cause harm to whomever this information gets to. It means the end user. So we have a data, you are an analyst here, and then you have to feed a consumer. A consumer here means the end user prior to the statistical measures you perform on this data. Okay, so if I want to use the Excel to get all this information, let me quickly do that. So I use a movie producer data. He has some tickets sold against a profit made on them. Let's say these are daily tickets sold or throughout his production life, these are tickets he sold and then a profit. This is not accurate, it's just a data to describe something. If I want to find the descriptive statistics for either of these data, it can be for just the ticket sold or the profit sold. It can be for that. So if I want to find the descriptive statistics, what I do is to highlight the data, go to data here, move to statistics, and then I click on descriptive statistics. It means I'm describing the data. It has asked for the input range, which we have selected all right. It is A3 to B17 from the Excel sheet. Result to, let's paste it here. It is grouped by columns. It is in a column form. It means a vertical arrangement of the data sets, not horizontal. And so, okay. So I have column one, column two. Let's assume I select the same data set. And then I go to my descriptive statistics. Where are you? Here you are. And results to, let's choose this one. By I tick row wise. Let's see what happens. So garbage in garbage, I'll see what it did. It took the the data row by row. How many rows do you have? Four to seventeen rows. That's like thirteen. Fifteen. And that is not correct. So it's not about just clicking, it's about doing the right thing. So let me undo. And this is my right. So column one is actually my ticket. Uh I should have I should have just to, to had the header. Column two is my profit. Now, what information do you want to tell us? Can you talk about the mean? 
can you talk about the mood can you talk about the median can you talk about the variances in the data can you talk about the range there's a difference between the maximum and minimum can you talk about the maximum and minimum what does it say can you talk about the sum and the count what does it say so you know maximum and minimum means there's a maximum number of tickets sold there's a minimum number of tickets sold the maximum profit is 3.7 let's say see this the minimum profit is two the mean it means on average he's able to sell 508 tickets on average that is his profit the median it means in a 50 percent form he can get tickets sold to 503 tickets the more there's no value here what does it mean it means there's no numbers occurring at this like repeatedly they are of single values but then the profit has a mode frequently he has a profit of 3.51 dollar cities and so on and so forth this is the numerics but then what is the information at hand and that is the interesting aspect of descriptive statistics and so i hope you take your time analyze the data and then write information to suit it so let's stay tuned for the other unit Thank you.